Well, hello there! I'm the Cozy Platypus, and I love stories. Writing them, reading them, watching them, playing them, you name it, I love it. But enough about me, I hope you're doing well, and if not, I have just the thing to cheer you up because today we are playing Day 5 of Stardew Valley 1.6. So grab a cozy blanket and a warm drink of your choice, and let's play. This day is starting off exciting first thing in the morning because as soon as we walk out the door, we meet Aisha. Aisha is a modded NPC that I added to my game and she is the mail lady. So she carries mail. You will undoubtedly see her meandering around town and delivering mail in people's mailboxes. She has quests that you can even get from her sometimes and today she found a special someone on our front porch. So she says, hi Sage, this cat. I found it sitting on top of your mailbox this morning. I think it's a stray. It seems to like this farm. I would look after it myself, but my other cat is unwell at the moment and needs my attention. I don't suppose this farm could use a cat. Will we adopt this cat? Of course. And I think we are going to name her T. And I'm choosing this name because partially I think it's funny because, you know, like spill the tea kind of that meme. I just think it's funny to name a cat that. And also the kind of theme around Chicory Farm is all things herby and planty and just cozy cottage core vibes. So I feel like tea really fits and kind of just encapsulates uh, everything that's represented by Chicory Farm and T is the bestest girl I have to say I've just met her but I already believe it she is the bestest girl we have to check our mail and this letter that we got says hello Sage my name is Susan Lewis told me you are a new farmer in town I'm trapped on my farm in the mountains so I can't say hi in person hopefully the mess Jojo made will be cleared out soon because I'm going a little stir crazy can't wait to meet you and see how the farm is shaping up Susan we have one more piece of mail and this is our notification that the mines are officially open so that is awesome to see we can now go mining but of course first we have to do our morning chores i i also think because we are officially on our our theme here and um, with our cat named t i think we're gonna change our chicken's name to chamomile because that goes along with our cottage core theme. I think potpourri here uh, really fits with our vibe. So I'm gonna leave her name. I'm gonna change Anne's name to chamomile and we're gonna get our chores done. Now, if this is your first time tuning in, we are playing today with our farmer, Sage. Uh, she loves all things herby and planty and she's a special soft spot for animals. I wouldn't call her the bubbly type, but more reserved. She loves the idea of spending hours and hours alone on her farm with no one bugging her. And I don't know about you, but I can relate. Uh, we just farmed our first crops. Some parsnips are finally mature and we have those now. And I have to water the rest of our crops. You might notice on the labels that I have on my crops that some of these are gonna look a little bit different and that is because they are part of the cornucopia mod. So it adds a bunch more crops and flowers to the game. And I just thought it would be fun to play with that just cause it adds some more variation. I don't know. I just, I just like some options. All right. But now I think we're going to sell our eggs and our parsnips. We'll keep one or two for the community center, possibly a couple, uh, just in case we have a quest or two that comes our way, but the rest we are going to sell and get some, some much needed cash. And we are going to do some foraging and then head into town. I see a leak. Then else up here. Oh, our community center is about to open. So exciting. And this is Lewis. He says, oh, hi there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me. I sound like an old fool. 
Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah well, if anyone else buys a Georgia Co. membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. <sighs> Here, let's go inside. Hmm? What's this? I guess Vincent and Jas must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. <gasps> what is that? What? This Junimo over here gaslighting me. Making me think I'm crazy. What's the matter? Are you ill? It's like, it was just right here. I saw it. And now it just disappeared. It's making me look crazy. You saw something? Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. No, Lewis, it was not a rat. See, it's there again. No? Okay. Well, I know what we saw. It was there, and it was green. You were worrying me, Sage. I've never seen a, ra a green rat. I don't know about you. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. He has no faith in us. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. No, Lewis, it wasn't a rat, okay? It was green, and it was shaped like an apple. It was not a rat. I know what I saw. You might think I'm crazy, but I know what I saw. Nice. So uh, we're gonna go in and start this quest line. We have to go here and look at the weird Junimo language that's written on this. Unfortunately, we won't be able to open the community center today. We have to wait for a letter tomorrow from the wizard and then we will go talk to him and then it will be opened. But for today, we have a couple quests to do. We have some mining to do. So I think we're just going to focus on doing that. And I see a quest here, so we're gonna definitely start with that. Clint is looking for some copper ores. I am definitely gonna take this quest because I would absolutely like to go check out, go start on the mines today. So we will do that. Gotta hit our trash cans on the way. So I think we're gonna start off by going down to the ocean and seeing if we can catch a flounder for Sam for that quest. This is the last day we have to complete it, so we're gonna come down here first. And I, you might be able to tell that I have access to my quests from here on the beach, and obviously that is not base game. That is part of a mod called Chests Anywhere, I believe. Either Chests Anywhere or Chests Everywhere, one of those two and um i just cannot play this game without it honestly it helps so much for my little adhd brain and it keeps me from having to run in circles all day long because i forgot that one thing that i was supposed to bring for that one quest or whatever it is i often will be like mm, i'm gonna go get this list of things done and then i immediately forget what that list of things was i also have a mod up here that is called UI info suite. It shows off like all of the things that you might need to do today. It shows the luck of that day, any birthdays, if there's a traveling merchant or anything like that. I finally found again, I had lost it right after the update. I could not figure out which mod it was that did that and I finally figured it out. Um, so I did re-download that one after the last couple episodes that I recorded because I kept forgetting when the traveling merchant was there. I don't know, it just helps keep track. It's like a little planner in the corner, you know? Like, I need a little planner or like a notification alarm thing on my my proverbial phone. So we're just gonna fish for a bit and see if we can catch this flounder for Sam. Let's see if we come up here. I'm concerned we're gonna run out of time to be able to go in the mines. Um, so I think we're gonna come up. Ooh, there's a, actually there's a bubble spot right here let's see if we can catch anything here real quick hey we caught our flounder awesome so we're gonna just dump a couple things so we have room in our inventory grab that and then that is what we needed for our quest for sam so we're gonna see if we can track him down he's over here i can tell by the map he's still nearby his house so we're gonna go see if we can find him real quick and get this uh quest item turned in i really um wanting to prioritize completing quests in this save because of the new ticket feature it's a little extra rewards that you get for completing quests so i definitely want to prioritize that we've got that delivered we got 300 gold awesome uh now we have space in our inventory to pick up this trash that we found i think we're probably just gonna keep one and sell the rest I like to keep 
a few fish just in case I get a quest. I think we're gonna go check the traveling merchant and then head up to the mines. Do, 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 do. You can see those cows that Marnie has are so cute because of the cuter barn animals mod. I love the way the cows look. And let's see what the traveling merchant has today. We've got some amaranth seeds, bobber, pumpkin seeds, sapling, slime, great planter, a sprinkler, a rare seed, some sparkling wine. I don't think that we need any of those for any of the community bundles so i'm not gonna use my money on that right now and we're just gonna focus on trying to get what we need for the community center and save our money for the rest of the things that we need to buy but we're just gonna come up cut through our farm and head up to start some mining actually before we head to the mines i do need to chop some trees and make another chest because i do not have any more space left and i will definitely need some okay so we got our axe we've got some food I'm gonna close the coop before we leave because I'm probably gonna stay up there until I pass out tonight. Since it's 5.30, I do need to spend enough time to gather at least 20 copper. Do, 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 do. I've been trying to keep an eye out for any spots to dig up. I haven't really seen a lot so far, so hopefully we'll see some pop up soon and we can get some carrot seeds. I was just wondering how far down this mine shaft goes. I'm going to take care of some of the monsters in here before they start climbing out into the valley. I've met a lot of adventurers in my time. I recognize that look in your eye. Old age hasn't robbed me of my eyesight or my skill with a sword quite yet. Take this weapon. It may not look like much, but it's imbued with magic. With it, you'll be able to battle the monsters here. We received a rusty sword. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. A member of what, Marlin? Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna start off some mining. My aim right out of the gate before we have an elevator or anything is to try to get down as quickly as possible while also trying to collect any copper we see. Ladder! Go down to level three. Oh my goodness, it's so dark. Why is it so dark so far up? Ugh. Hopefully we can find a glow ring soon because I really don't enjoy playing in the dark in this game. It's so much better when we have a glow ring and we can actually see what we're doing. I think there's some barrels down here, so we're gonna break those, see what we can find. I'm sure some people are going to think that this is quite like overpowered to be able to access my chest down here and you're probably right, but I kind of take the philosophy with games that the whole point is to enjoy them and I do enjoy a good challenge but within reason especially when you first start out in the mines like it can be very stressful and very frustrating and difficult and i find that i enjoy the game a lot more if i have a few mods that just uh, give me a little leg up it's really about enjoying the game so that's what we're gonna focus on i don't see any more copper down here or some crabs though Whew, we made it to the elevator. Awesome. So we've made it down five levels already. And I think we have some time to make it a little bit farther. I don't know if we can make it all the way down to level 10, but we are going to try. We also really have to prioritize collecting the copper. Uh, we do have until tomorrow to collect it, but we also have to get it to Clint. Ooh, we just got a glow ring. That is amazing. We're on level five of the mines and we got a glow ring and a new clothing item. That is so cool. I'm already so excited about this. I have to put it on immediately. And now we don't have to worry about the lower levels of the copper area of the mines. Those can be so annoying if you don't have a glow ring yet. So this is really lucky that we found one so soon. That makes the game so much more fun both for me and for you watching. You don't have to squint at a dark screen anymore. Here we got a nice, cool, new red hoodie. Very cool, very stylish. We are rocking it as we try to collect the copper. I believe that the little pop-up that tells you how many of an item you've collected for a quest is part of the update. I think that's the case. I might be wrong with that and if I am please let me know in the comments but I have to say whatever it is that's causing that uh, it is so helpful to have that that way you don't have to constantly open your quest menu to try to figure out 
how you're progressing on like collection type quests. So we've collected almost all of them. I see some more copper up here. We got 15 out of 20. We just need a little bit more, but it is midnight. Can we make it? I don't know if I finished what I was saying earlier, but I like to complete mining quests the day that I accept them so that the day that they're due, because you have two days to complete those types of quests, that way the day that they're due, I still have time to talk to the person and complete the quest. I tend to get too distracted to be able to complete a quest and then manage to make it back to the person that I'm supposed to be delivering it to in the same day. That's why I'm trying to prioritize getting all this copper today. And there it is. We got our last piece of copper. I would love to say that we could make it all the way to level 10 before 2 a.m., but I have a feeling that's not going to happen since it's already 1.30. We only have so much time, but I will collect... As much as I can. We are out of energy and out of time. We also completed the first level of this quest, so I think we're just gonna not even worry about it. Honestly, we're gonna pass out here anyway, but we're just gonna organize things and call it a day. All right, well, thank you for hanging out with me today. I had a blast and I hope you did as well. Hopefully next time we can open our community center and finish our quest. Right now we are playing Stardew and I've also been playing some Sims 4 if you'd like to check that out. But I plan to start incorporating even more cozy games soon. So please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. I see that we leveled up in three of our skills, which is super cool. And that is the end of day five. We made a grand total of $812. But until next time, I hope you have an awesome day.